<laughs> kick other than the extra point. That's it. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And Daniels has it over the middle. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of six there on first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop Number's, it. And if they're not number. going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. Leopard! Leopard! Now back to throw. Forced out to his left. He can run for it, and he will. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Now we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. Right, no, I mean, that's really, really Three, difficult. You're asking Three, a whole Three, lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. And that is incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. They've got it first and 10 inside their own 20-yard line. He'll be taken down just shy of the 20. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. They'll run it now out of the gun, and they're able to bring him down at the 20. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Back to throw now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle is going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Over, over! Over, over! All right, now, lucky 56! Lucky 56! Looking to throw. 
He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of fourth down, first down. Well, so much for winning the down, you put a lot of emphasis on because third down is key for offense and defense. Instead, you're going to stay on the field and start a new set of downs. He'll drop to throw. He's going to loft one deep left. And this is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Bills' offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's, He's not a team anymore. I just cut it, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this show. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's something that there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They're going to look to throw. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And they'll run it here. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Here's Haster. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And it'll be Dolphin football. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Throw left side, complete to Moss. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. They'll run it now out of the gun. There he goes inside the 30. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of their yardage has come through the air. 
But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. He pick up another first down with that run. This throw caught right around the six. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Fifteen more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Miami after this. First foray into the red zone for Miami. They've got it first and goal at the six. They'll come out in the pistol. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. It's the fullback, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And the Bills getting set to go. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Can't clean it with the beans. Dripping from the 
No, no, not me. I can never be the one you want to stuff for. Money, money, that machine. If I got my stuff, I'll